Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. And welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this first Saturday in May. And we just got through talking to Larry and everything. And then, you know, we kind of talking boating a little bit. We've touched on a little bit during that. Our next guest, we're going to talk a little bit more boating here for a few minutes. Got Major Brian Thompson. Brian, you with us this morning? I am. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Brian's I hate, our... I hate I missed y'all a while ago without preparing my boat. Okay. You know, Brian's our Region 1 law enforcement coordinator for the region. Got all the officers under him and... Uh, and I was discussing with him of that. I said, hey, you got Memorial Day coming up, and we need to start getting into boating, and I'm pretty sure that we're just going to kind of touch it because, I mean, between now and Memorial Day, we'll probably get Brian back, you know, for a couple of more segments, you know, to do. But, uh, you know, by far, Memorial Day is a big boating holiday. Am oh, I- yeah, it's, it's, the big, it's the biggest boating holiday of the year, I guess, you know, especially people starting out, Dave. Uh, I was up in Chattanooga this week and so, saw people getting out, thousands off boats where they was working on them and things like that, on the, taking them for little spins on the river and so forth. So people need to get prepared because it'll be here in a couple of weeks. Okay, and, and, and if you're bringing your boat out for the first time, getting it out of from winter, the dry, you know, from the winter storage and stuff, what what's something people need to look at? Well, they, they, first they need to look to make sure, you know, that it's operable. Uh Open that cow and depending on where you've been storing, you know, it could be dirt dauber's nest, that could be anything in there, uh, mouse nest. Uh, make sure the fire extinguisher hadn't peaked down over the winter or whatever. Right. Uh, make sure mouse hadn't need on your your life jackets, your, your life preservers, your throw cushion. Uh, just just inspect everything. You know, inspect your trailer tires. Make sure your lights are working. Your, your lights on your boat. Make sure they're working. Your stuff looks good. Good inspection of everything. And make another thing is about registration. Oh, yeah. You know, make sure that registration's up to date. And it's, it's easy to renew it. You can go for wherever you sell, where they sell licenses to renew your registration. Also, remind folks, and it's probably the biggest misconception of everybody, is that if you sell me your boat, Dave, and the registration's still good, I still have to register it in my name, you know. I won't sell you my car unless you keep my license plate. But for some reason, people will sell you a boat and let them keep the uh, boat registration if it's uh, if it's still good. And by law, they're supposed to uh, turn that into the agency. Actually, uh, if they sell the boat and it's still registered. Right. I believe. I believe the time limit is like ten days. I believe I think it is. that they have that they've got. To, in fact, that's what you said. The, the the original boat owners has to surrender that registration to the agency. They're, they're supposed to. Yeah. And uh, right. the new the new owner needs to get the boat registered, and uh, uh, and we'll. I'm pretty sure you know. Our, you know, we're gonna we'll get into that a little bit more. You know, the procedure and stuff. But if you got a question, right. you know, give us a call in the regional office. And oh uh, yeah, we'll we'll answer anything and everything. It, you know, they'll just call us. And uh, right, but uh, okay. Well, we sure appreciate you taking time. And like I said, leading up to Memorial Day, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be calling on you again. That sounds good. You right, know, Dave. get you a couple more segments in there leading up to the big the big day. And uh, we sure appreciate you taking time with us this morning. And uh, just you have a good day. Y'all do the same. And thing. be careful Thanks, out Dave. there, as they say. Bye. And okay. Bye. Okay. Hey, I got Ron Wall. All right, all the way from California. Found it. How, are you California dreaming with us this morning, Ron? That's right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, Tell us what. We are here uh, covering the uh, uh, Bassmaster Elite uh, Tournament here on the Sacramento River out of Sacramento. It, and uh, how many how many fishermen are fishing that tournament? It's a uh, it's the elites at uh, 112 fishermen that uh, fish it. Um, this morning, uh, they're blasting off the top 50. They had a cut yesterday. You had to have, uh, at least 28 pounds yes- as of <laughs> yesterday in order to qualify to fish today. And, uh, right now leading the tournament is, um, uh, Aaron Martin's a California, a former Californian now living in Alabama. He's got 51 pounds. A guy from San Jose, California, Chris Valdane, is uh, in second place with uh, 
uh, 50 pounds, 11 ounces, I believe. Third place is another former Californian, Justin Lucas. Uh, he's got 50 pounds. Uh, it's pretty amazing the fish they're yeah, catching. It, We've it seen a like uh, 12 pounder caught, a 10, two 10 pounders brought in, so they're, they're catching them. And uh, what's the weather like out there today? Hot. Hot? It was 92 yesterday. Ah, oh, yeah, but like they say, it's a dry heat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's hot. Isn't that fun? Today it's only supposed to get up to 86, I boy. Okay. And, uh, so. Are you blowing your nose, Ron? That's all good. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Well, uh, but uh, it's 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 pretty amazing this fishery they have there. Um, uh, they're catching so many fish; it's unbelievable. Now, having said all that, though, these guys have to run about sixty-two miles wow. to get to a fishing spot here on the Sacramento River. Here in Sacramento, yes, you can catch a bunch of little bitty bass around the city here. But in order to win it, they've got to go out to a region called the California Delta, which is where Sacramento River meets the San Joaquin River, uh, going toward uh, the city of Stockton and Antioch here in California. Uh, it's quite a run, and the thing about that run is is there's about five or six places on the river that have a no wait zone, and they oh, have to yeah. abide by it. <laughs> and, Otherwise, the little officers will get them. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know you, you know you've been involved in tournaments for a long time. When you run that far, what do they do for fuel? They take fuel with them. No, here here on the Sacramento River, they actually have places that that uh, you can buy fuel. Okay, because I know running sixty two miles in a with with a souped up motor on 900 the nine hundred horsepower. Yeah, you, you you're going to burn the fuel. Yeah, they get about three miles to a gallon. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and, you uh, know, they're running 62, 65 miles one way. But once they get out in that delta area, it's so expansive. There's so many canals. Uh, and that some of them will run 10 to 12 miles to go to from one hole to another. Wow. Too. So mm. they're burning a bunch of gas, and, yeah, they're having to buy. And, uh, but, uh, well, it keeps the economy rolling. You know, <laughs> it keeps the economy rolling there yeah, by that fuel. Yeah, yeah, it does. And, uh, yeah, it does. Everything the outdoors are good for the economy. Yes, it you is. know, they, they are really yeah. right. well. You know, and I encourage everybody to go out to lroutdoors.com. Um, Guy Trubo is already posting some of the pictures that I've taken of the uh, tournament good. out here, and uh, I'll be sending more today. Okay, and hopefully you'll be back in the studio next week. That, you know, oh, like I said, right. I'm supposed you, you're to be co-hosting. Yeah. yeah, you're supposed to, you, you know, so, you Are know. Are you getting mileage, Ron? Huh? Is Larry paying yeah. you mileage? Yeah, heck yeah, he's paying me big mileage. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we should, we sure preach because it's five, it's, it's five o'clock out there yeah. on the West Coast. Yeah. Uh, now, by the way, you know, I'm going to tell all of our viewers, if they go out to Bassmaster.com, and pull up the elite tournament here. They can watch what they call a live feed, and it's on the four top anglers, and you can watch what they're doing on the water. Wow! Live. I mean, this is uh, you'll you'll be able to see Chris and Aaron Martins and them online live. Exactly what they're doing. It's not a show. It's exactly what they're doing out there. So uh, check it out. Okay. Well, we sure appreciate you. Taking time with us out there, you know, with your California dreaming. That's probably what we had to wake you up in California dreaming. And, uh, but you have a safe trip and have a good day Will out do. there. You guys do, too. Okay. Have a good one. The right. ever, ever amazing Ron Wong. I'm telling you, that guy, he's there. He everywhere. follows his bass fishermen. You know, he's, he's like a lemming. He did. He loves that fish. Well, I hear music, so I guess this means an hour and a half's over with, right? Yep. Another amazing hour and a half. We want to thank everybody for tuning us in. And like I said, Larry will be back in the studio for next week's show with some amazing guests like he always lines up. So we want everybody to have a good day out there. And like Larry closes the show every week, God bless the USA.